okay so this is the next video in our continuation of our uh, microsoft ai 102 practice exam questions and uh, we are covering exam topics uh, questions so now we have to cover next five questions that is from question number 11 to question number uh, 15 so you build a custom form recognizer model so form recognizer model means like uh, there is a form we have to scan that particular form and uh, we have to scan like all the fields like where is where uh, where is the date present in the form uh, where is the income tax field total amount field time vendor name etc you receive sample files for the training uh, to the model so there are six files which three files you can use to train the model so out of six which three files we can use so we have to scan the form so uh, the form is and either in the form of jpg or pdf so mp4 option is totally wrong right and gif option is also totally wrong because mp4 is not a like a form file gif is also a not a form file so pdf jpj pdf jpj so these are uh, like the correct option but there are four options we have to select the three option so pdf 20 mb that is okay jpg 20 mb that is okay pdf 100 mb and jpg 40 mb is okay so there is a limitation like uh, we can't like uh, uh, use a, a large file that is of 100 mb file so this is not the correct option so we have like eliminated this as well so the remaining option is pdf 20 mb jpg 20 mb and jpg 40 mb so if you reveal the question so a that is a file one c jpj and f file six okay so if you go to the discussion uh, community so even all the people are saying uh, the same thing so let's move to the next question question number 12 a customer uses uses azure cognitive search so azure cognitive services have a lot of services so search is one of the services so search means let's suppose you have the one database and in that database there are so many documents and using the search uh, uh, service uh, you have to find the particular document the customer plans to enable a server side encryption and uses customer managed keys keys stored in the azure so like there are two types of keys one is the keys like which is provided by the azure cognitive service but customer can also use their own supplied keys so those keys are called uh, customer managed keys so in this scenario the customer told that okay like he will use the customer managed keys and he will like use the uh, server side uh, encryption so what could be the implications uh, for this change so what will happen uh, for this search service all right so whether the index size will increase whether the query time will increase whether the index size will decrease query time will decrease or azure key vault is required so out of six option all right so what are the correct options so first thing is that we have to use the customer managed keys so customer will store their own keys into the azure key vault so azure key vault is required so option f is correct so now we have five options left so let's see okay so if the customer use the customer managed keys so what will happen the index size will increases so if the index will increases definitely the query will take uh, like uh, more time because uh, the query will def uh, like whenever we run any search query so it will uh, go through the all the indexes and it will find the particular document so if the index size will increases so query time will definitely increases so then these two options also like eliminated because the index size will not decrease and the query time will not decrease but the index size will increase and the query time will increase okay so the correct answer is option a option b and option f right so option c told that a self-signed x509 certificate is required because uh, like uh, they told okay we have to do some encryption so whether we need this this particular certificate no this is not required uh, for the service side encryption so only a b and f are like correct answer so but they told a b e so which is wrong because if the query time will increase they told query time will increase and they told query time will decrease so the option is wrong so the correct answer is a b and f so if we go to the discussion community so most of the people say a b f so let's move to the next question question number 13 
you are developing a new sales system that will process the video and text from a public facing website so there is a public facing website public facing website means like uh, the website which is uh, available for the general public so we have to process the video and the text from the particular website but you plan to notify user that their data has been processed by the sales system because on this website so there are like uh, users data we are collecting the data so we have to notify the user that we are using your data we are processing your data we are storing your data so which ai responsible like uh, does this help meet right so we have six, six principle of ai so in this like the transparency is the uh, correct answer why the transparency so transparency means like uh, we are like our ai system is being transparent so whatever the data we are being using uh, for the customers we are telling to the customers like okay we are storing uh, you are this and uh, that data so that's why the transparency is the correct answer because we have to notify the user if we have to notify the user we have been like very transparent uh, with them so fairness is not the correct answer fairness means like uh, uh, our AI system should treat each and everyone equal so nothing like that in this scenario uh, because it, the question doesn't tell that like uh, we have to treat equal, like each and everyone equally so fairness is not inclusive means like uh, to include all the people we should not li like leave a few few set of people so nothing mentioned in this question reliability and safety means like uh, uh, safety and reliability comes into scenarios let's suppose you have the ai system which will recommend which medicine will be used like for any disease so so that particular ai system should be reliable because if let's suppose like ai system like uh, recommend some wrong medicine and the customer will take that medicine so it could like uh, uh, risk the human life so so but nothing like that in that question so transparency is the correct answer so option A is the correct answer. So they told option D, which is wrong, but option A is the correct answer. Question number 14. So question number 14 and question number 15 both are like uh, uh, same same scenarios. So till this point, like they have just given a some kind of note and the note is like that uh, in the uh, actual exam, if you, if you found this question and, and if you like answer this question, uh, once you complete all, all the questions you will not like uh, uh, able to change this answer because this question will not appear in the review screen so a, a basic note but actual question will start from here only right so what question said like you have created a web application so there is a one web application app one that runs on the virtual machine and the virtual machine name is vm1 and vm1 is stored on the located on the virtual network that is vnet1 so there is a virtual network in that virtual network we have the virtual machine one on the top of the virtual machine we have the app one so app one is running on the virtual machine one and virtual machine is located in the virtual network so you plan to create a new azure cognitive service named service one so we have created a one service service one so how to ensure that the app one app one which is running in the virtual machine one can directly connect to the service one because service one is running outside it is not mentioned whether it is in the virtual network or on the particular uh, machine so it is running outside so how we can connect this service one with this app one without routing traffic over the public public internet so we have to create some a private link so we don't want to, to make this like uh, expose over the public internet so this is the question so the solution they like tell is you deploy service one okay and a public endpoint so if we deploy the public endpoint then it means we are like uh, routing over the public internet so this is wrong right and uh, to a virtual network and then you configure azure private link so there is no need uh, for the uh, uh, like a public endpoint we can directly use the azure private link so what azure private link will do is it will like from this azure virtual network it will like make a connection with that particular service right and uh, so in this way like this is a pri private uh, using the private link and it is not exposed over the public internet so no need to like use the public endpoint so does this meet this goal no because here we are choosing the public endpoint 
but the answer says a which is wrong if you go to the discussion community so most of the people say no and uh, like uh, if you go to like uh, this link so let me go to this link which is like uh, provided uh, what happened so they have told like azure private link enables you to access the particular services so let me show you where is mention so privately access services so connect your virtual network to services in azure without a public id address at the source of destination so we can like using the azure private link like we can directly connect our virtual network to a services right without any public ip address right search provider can render their services so private link platform will handle the connectivity between the consumer and the back uh, azure network backbone so no need for the public in, uh, endpoint so next question is also same so like uh, uh, till this point so there is a similar kind of note and after that like they again same the same thing uh, so that that is so they have created one app one that particular application is running on the virtual machine one and that virtual machine is located on the uh, virtual network one and you created one service service one now you have to connect this service one with the app one without writing over the public internet but this time they uh, provided some different solution so whether this solution is suitable or not so you deploy service one and a public endpoint and this time they told that rather than the uh, private link so azure private link we will do the ip firewall rule uh, so but this is wrong because they are using the public endpoint and then they are using the ip firewall uh, rule so i uh, firewall will not uh, like uh, prevent uh, to expose to the publics but so this is wrong does, does this meet this goal uh, no so option b is correct so option b is correct okay so we have covered like all these like uh, five question so uh, but like all this uh, the answer which i am sharing with you uh, is as per the solution as per the links uh, which is provided uh, and as per the discussion community and as per my knowledge uh, and it could be right or wrong so if you have some another solution you can like uh, tell me in the comment section uh, thank you